So, in the uh, right side of the living room, you will find this uh, main uh, control device that will help you to regulate uh, all the hair system within the property. It is centralized, but as you can see, you have this little green box in each room that would help you to switch on and off uh, cool hair or hot hair in separately in each different uh, room of the property. So, first of all, this is this one, you can open this little socket here and you have all these different buttons. We will just show you how to use the main one. So, of course, let's start with the top right one, this uh, yellow orangey button. As you can see, it's already written start stop, so press it once. And you can see you have some information displaying now uh, within the screen. It means um, it's on and ready to use. So, we can focus on those buttons here, set temperature up and down with the fan button here, the top right, and the other one on the top right, which is the mode. So, first of all, if we press the mode button, as you can see here, we have different symbols changing. So, the different kind of uh, settings that we want. So, you have like this little sun symbol, of course, it means uh, it's gonna display hot hair mostly for uh, recommended to use for winter season and you have the other one which is the little uh, winter symbol which is for cool hair uh, mostly for uh, summer season as you can see very easy to, to switch so let's go back to let's say we want a cool hair so we choose the winter symbol then fan as you can see here Gonna switch differently so of course when the bar is full it means maximum power when the bar is empty it's gonna be low power let's say we want medium like this and then the last thing we need to set is here temperature to go up as you can see or you can go down so as we want cool hair let's go something around 19 degrees okay now you can switch uh, close it back so as I said this this one is just to control all the settings but just with this uh, the hair is not going to be displayed what you have to do is now come back and find in all rooms and then just of all rooms you have like this little gray uh, device as well you can see here this on off symbol just press it once and it will match automatically the settings that you put here and now you can hear everything is starting and it will be played. Do not focus on this information here, which, one, which matter is the one you will have here. Okay, so do the same in each room separately and that way you have a better control on the uh, system all over the property. Once you're over, imagine you want to go out of the property, you are, it's very simple, you go back to all your devices and you switch it off. And you switch it off. And now you're ready to go. Also, please let us remind you that for better usage and a more uh, responsible consumption, it is always recommended to use uh, your air conditioning system with all windows and door closed. So about the oven, you will find the microwave from the brand Bosch. And this is how it works. So first of all, you can see this uh, big rectangular button on the bottom right, just press it once and you will have the door that open. Put your dish or else inside and make sure to close the door properly. Then you can see on the top you have this little wheel here that is going to change. It's the timer that you want to use. So as you can see, you can really accurately modify it. Let's say more one minute, 30 seconds. Once it's set, press it. And then here you have the different uh, options that you want to use. If you want to defrost, uh, something if you have some pre-recorded program that's not necessary to use now and see the different intensity power you want to use. Let's say you want a regular usage, we're just going to select 360. As you can see now we have it in the red dots on top. So as you can see here we have those two next buttons, start and stop. Once everything is selected, timer, button press and the desired power, just press start. As you can see now, you have some lights, its uh, main plate is turning, it's working, and the timer is uh, going down. So once it's over, the uh, microwave will gonna produce a little sound that, to let you know that it's ready. It's very simple. Go back to the device, you can press that button again to put it back, and go back to the rectangular button on the bottom right, press it once, take your dish out, 
and make sure to close the door properly. So just above the microwave you will find the oven from the brand Bosch as well. So very simple to operate. You can see here the big handle, pull it gently towards you and you open the main door. So feel free to put your tissue wraps inside and make sure to close the door properly. As you can see on the uh, top section you have two different wheels. One, uh, the one on the right is to set temperatures. It goes from uh, 50 to 250 uh, degrees. It is Celsius degrees of course, keep that in mind. And the one on the left it is to uh, switch between all the different uh, cooking methods. Uh, basically it's how the heat is going to be distributed. You can see here on those different symbols. You can have the heat coming from above, from bottom, from both and so on. So let's simulate uh, regular cooking uh, usage. So let's go around 200, 180 degrees. So you can see like this little black mark. Make sure to point it to the um, desired temperature. Here's the same with the wheel. You can turn it here. So let's say we want a heat from above, bottom and above. So make sure to put it correctly. And as you can see, now the oven is already uh, starting to operate and you can see here as well we have like this little red indication. After a certain time when uh, uh, your preparation is uh, over, uh, before taking it out of course make sure to switch both switch uh, off so that you go back to zero. You can see here. Go back to zero. You can see the oven is not making any noise. You have the red uh, indicator that it's off and now you can open the door and take your dish out. Be careful of course it may be very hot so make sure to use uh, proper equipment for that, some kitchen glove or else. So in the kitchen you will find this uh, hub from the brand Bosch and will show you a couple of tricks how to operate. So as you can see you have three different uh, hubs from three different sizes and everything will be operated from all this little button here on the bottom section. So first, first of all, you go on the top left, this on off button. Just press it once. As you can hear the little noise and you can have like those red indicators. That means the hub is switched on. So let's, as you can see, on those different ones, you have three with those little circular symbol will indicate you which one you want to use. Of course, this one is going to be for the main one on the left. This one here, as you can see on the top right, and this one on the top, on the bottom right. So, so you want to use it. Let's say we want to use this one on the bottom right. You can see the symbol plus and minus. You just press it a couple of times, and as you can see, you can go up and down, and it go by uh, 0.5 by 0.5. So you can see it's four, the two dot four point five five. So it's out of 9, so average usage should be something around 5. Let's say we want to use 5 for just warming up a dish. As you can see here, it is bl uh, blinking a little bit, so it means it is ready to use but it's not going to be functional. See, you can put your hand, it is not hot. Because it's a security system, you need to put something on top of it in order to, uh, for it to be working. So let's take this pan. As you can see now it stopped blinking so it is starting to work. And if you're taking out it is blinking again so it's me uh, it will not produce any heat. Okay so now let's say that uh, you've done cooking that everything is, is perfect to the dessert what you wanted. Very simple, go back to the on off button, press it once. And you see everything is switched off and you can take your pan away. But be careful, the little hubs might still be hot, so be careful when you manipulate everything. So in the kitchen as well, under the sink, you will find these washing dishes from the Grand Ballet. And let's show you how to, to use it. So as you can see, you have different buttons on the top section and you have this little handle. Just push it toward you gently and you can see you can see here you have this little section that you can use to put your 
soap, your tablet, or anything else, just be sure to close it properly. And now you can start with the program. Close the door. So now we're gonna operate everything from here. As you can see on the left side, you have this on off button, press it once. You can see a couple of lights here uh, showing, so uh, the washing dishes is on. You can see here you have a little wheel that you can turn, and you have different symbols on top here, which are according to uh, what kind of dishes you have as a delicate one, not if you want a really deep cleaning or not, and so on. If you have a doubt which program to use, and uh, you have just regular uh, dishes, just make sure to use the ecological one. It will make sure to use right the uh, uh, right amount of water. So once it's selected, you can see this button here, Inicio, which means start in uh, Spanish. Just press it once. And as you can hear, the machine is starting. So once the program you've chosen is over, the uh, washing dishes machine will gonna make a little note to let you know about it. So you can come back to the device. First of all, what we recommend is uh, switch it off, go back to this left uh, on off button, press it once. And you can see we don't have more uh, orange indication, so if it is off, you can now go back to the handle, put it towards you, and take everything out. Of course, after, after you choose it, Makes sense, but be sure to close the door. So, uh, above the sink on the right side of the kitchen, you'll have this little door. This is where the washing machine is located. So, just open the door, and as you can see, here you have the washing machine. So, first of all, what I really recommend you is you see this main door with this little handle, press it gently toward you, open it and put all your dirty uh, clothes in. Make sure to close it properly. Now, go to the top left section. As you can see, this little socket here. Look towards you, and you can see here you have all different compartments where you put your soft, softeners and then all the product you want to use. As well, make sure to close it properly. Now, you have to go to the top right section. You see here this little wheel. So this washing machine not only uh, washes clothes but also can dry your clothes. This is like the red problem here. We're gonna explain you right now. So what we're gonna use now is all those different programs here. As you can see, you have a different kind of uh, uh, textiles, and materials, and temperatures that uh, you want to use according. It's gonna be Oh, it's going to be synthetic, it's going to be uh, uh, delicate clothes and so on. Let's say we want just a regular user and a, a short program for your clothes. So let's go to Algodon and let's use something between 40 and, and 60 degrees. As you can see, it's all more or less preset, so no really need to turn any other button. But if you know, you can exactly change it. So once it's selected and done, go to this button here, the one that is on the top right, press it once. And as you can hear, the washing machine is now starting and is ready to operate. So once your program is over, uh, the washing machine will produce a little note to let you know about it. If you want, you can uh, take your clothes out and uh, uh, make it dry outside, but if no, you can use uh, uh, the drying function from this uh, washing machine. So, you go to this little button here, it's called seca, which means dry in, in Spanish. Press it once, as you can see, you have now this little sun symbol blinking. So, take the wheel, go to those three different programs in red. The top one is for normal drying, the middle one is in case you have uh, uh, delicate clothes to dry, and the last one is another option as well in case to. Make all your clothes uh, red. So let's take normal option, the first one, normal drawing, so select it and just now press the right button again. And as you can see, now the washing machine is functioning but without water, just drying all your clothes. Once the drying system is over, now you uh, just need to take your clothes 
out of the washing machine. So just make sure to suit it up first. Take the wheel and put it back to stop unless it's still uh, red mark with the stop option here. As you can see there's no more uh, light display, no more information. The washing machine is off. Open the main door slowly. Take everything out and make sure you close everything back. The first door and the main door. 